Uh, let's get back to Rwanda with a look at that conversation about the Interpol activities in that market. Take a look. Today, as you are aware, the world is challenged by uh, such transnational crimes like uh, terrorism, human trafficking, drug trafficking, arms trafficking, so many of them, cyber crime, and often these employ modern technology. So Interpol helps member countries to develop their capacity in terms of skills development, in terms of IT equipment, in terms of uh, coordination, facilitating uh, information flow. For example, you have a communication tool that links all member countries, all 190 member countries. It's known as I-247. Information flow 24 hours. It never stops. It's a state-of-art communication that tries to beat the transnational criminals who are also using modern technology. We can communicate very fast, very efficiently, and very securely. Modern crime, of course, employs a lot of computer technology. Could you uh, guide us through step by step about how this uh, combating this started on this end or what has been put down so far and what remains to be done on that end? As a country, we have built the capacity to deal with these challenges. Okay, cyber crime, for example, we know most of the crimes, as I mentioned, are employed in modern technology. Rwanda National Police has built capacity in terms of uh, uh, cyber investigations. We have uh, we have training. We have the IT uh, department that is the building capacity of our police of our investigators. For example. Uh, I can mention uh, digital forensic analysis unit, uh, which is doing quite well. Uh, when you have, for example, any cyber-related crime, it's this unit that we uh, investigate, we analyze the data, we find out where, uh, how the crime has been committed, from which IT, then. Uh, apart from the capacity we build here at home, we also have to link up with colleagues in other countries. Uh, apart from training, apart from um, buying the necessary IT equipment to help us, uh, we also have uh, community outreach. Kenya had uh, a situation where they mentioned this week that they've lost 15 billion in terms of uh, cyber crime. Now is there a regional approach where member states in the region support each other to to tackle some of these issues or what is the exact mandate of a member state now in that regard when a member country is faced with such issues? Sure, sure. Combating transnational crimes requires cooperation, coordination, communication, being in touch. You can't fight transnational crimes on your own. So basically, in our regional meetings, uh, for example, IAPCO, Eastern Africa Police Chiefs Cooperation Organization, uh, whose chair is in Kenya now, uh, cybercrime, transnational crimes, these are some of the issues on the agenda we have been discussing. And whenever there is a a problem we link up very fast with any country that requests support. We, we support one another in the region and even on the global uh, level through Interpol. Uh, finally, I have to ask, in, uh, you've mentioned it, the meeting that we are expecting, much anticipated Interpol meeting early November, uh, but in some of these meetings there's a lot of policy formulation but not enough policy implementation after the meeting. So should we expect any tangible outcomes uh, from that uh, uh, summit or from that uh, convention? As I mentioned, Interpol is 100 years today. And uh, given the history where it has come from and where we are today, I have no doubt that the policies formulated will be implemented. For example, I told you many years ago we did not have uh, a modern communication facility like we have today. So this came from the policies that were eventually implemented. So no doubt the policies will be implemented because uh, unlike other organizations, if we, we set policies as an international police organization and we don't implement, this has consequence on the safety and security of the citizens of the world. So you can be sure Interpol policies 
will be implemented in order to achieve the safety for us all and for the next generation.